Hey, welcome back. This video I'm going to show you one of my favorite tricks and that's taking screenshots. Super useful for sending things through email, to communications through parents, to colleagues, creating all kinds of documents, activities. You can take screenshots very easily with this trick. So what you're looking at here is a picture of the Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard and I'm going to show you how I use this screenshot tool. So you're going to hold down function and hit the scissors key and when you do that, you'll see the screen pop up here and it says at the top upper left hand corner, snip and sketch. And you're going to click on new. And then what happens is your screen sort of gets gray. And what it's looking for you to do, if you move your mouse around and now has become a crosshairs, what you're going to do is you're going to be able to drag, click and drag. I'm left clicking and dragging the area that you want to take a snapshot of. Once I do that once I have that window of the snapshot I let go. Okay so now we have our image and now you can copy that image by going up here to the upper right hand corner. You can click copy or you can hold down control C on your keyboard and that will copy this image and then you can paste it into a Google Doc, a Word document, um, any anything like that, an email. Now you have something that you could put somewhere else. If you need to make some marks on this, another really handy tool at this point is you can circle things, mark them up using some of the tools at the top. You have a highlighter here, you have a pencil, you have a marker. So you can use your finger on the touch screen, you can use a stylus or the mouse, and you can use these tools up here to mark up the image. So here's where you're gonna hold down to do this. You're gonna hold down the function, so you can see I can draw an arrow right on the screen with my stylus, hold down this function key, and then over here, this is the print screen. Now this image is not high enough resolution for you to make out the scissors, but they are there. They're right there below the print screen button. So if you hold down function and you hold down that scissors, you'll go through the process that I just showed you. Okay, now that I have this image, let's say I wanted to put this into a Google Doc or something. What I would do is I could copy it after I made my marks. And now I could open up, let's say, a new Google Doc. You could easily do that by typing in docs.new. Now I have my Google Doc open and I can just control V will paste it. And here's my image and now I can control the size of the image. I can drag it from the corner and I can shrink it down to fit in the document or in the email or something like that. So if I was trying to communicate this to uh, some colleagues or something, I would do the same exact process. You can go down here. It's still open on the bottom, the snipping tool. I can create a new one by just clicking new. And again, I could take a picture of something else. Now, one thing you have to know is that it's going to take a picture of whatever your current screen is in the background. So let's say I, I didn't really mean to take another picture of this and I wanted to do a different tab. Um, I could just kind of click there and it, it kind of realizes, oh, you didn't really drag a window, so it's not going to go through that process. So what I need to do is reduce this find the page that I want to take a screenshot of. Let's say I was on this screen right here and I wanted to take a picture of this screen. Pull up the screen you want to take the snapshot of first, then click down here. Now I'm going to click New. And now you can take a picture of a certain part of this. Let's say I needed to show someone this part of the screen. Now that part of the screen will show up there. Okay, so that's just a quick video on how to use that snapshot tool. It's one of my favorite tricks. I use it all the time. Everyone I talk to that, that is aware of this, they use it as well. This has just a li little bit different look and feel than the old snapshot tool. So let me know if you have any questions. You can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.